Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation, and if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at reliable networks. We'll be discussing network architecture, fault tolerance, scalability, quality of service, and finally, network security. This episode is part of my series on introduction to networks. I'm Kevin, here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. When we talk about reliable networks, we have to look at the network architecture. When we look at the network architecture, there's four areas that most people consider are to be the important parts of that. First area is fault tolerance. It's the idea that we're going to give our network more than one way to send data. What this multiple pass gives us is if one device goes down, our data can still get across the network. So if there's a failure, our network is still going to work. And so that's what we look at a lot of times is what is our reliability? At your house, you probably don't have a whole lot of reliability built into it. You have that one $50 Linksys Belkin D-Link router, that one internet connection. If either one of those goes down, you don't have internet at your house until you get those fixed. In a company, Sometimes that's not acceptable. So you have multiple internet connections. You have multiple routers and switches. You give multiple paths to connect into the internet. I do love this diagram. This is this diagram here is, is a common one that's out there. And if you look at this diagram here, we're talking about fault tolerance. And yes, we do have multiple paths to the internet. So if this one goes down, we can still transfer data through there. But where is the single point of failure? We have a single point of failure right here. So part of our network is fault tolerant. The upper part, when we're, when we're looking at the routers and the switches, this is all fault tolerant. But down here, the connection from the router into our LAN switch, that's a single point of failure. If that goes down for whatever reason, you're your whole local area network won't be able to get out to the internet, won't be able to talk to the other office. So bear in mind, this drawing does have a small little hiccup in it for you. Second area here is scalability. Scalability is growing your network bigger. A couple of reasons on why you'd want to scale your network to a bigger size is Maybe you bought out a competitor and you're bringing their network into your network. You're growing it bigger. Maybe just you're great at doing business. Your company's making lots of money and you want to expand. So you're going to add in a third building. Now, how do we do that? How do we expand and get us, get us that? And so we need to think about that. And as we go through the series, we're going to get into talking about scalability. But that's, that's an area we need to look at. Third area here is quality of service. Typically this is called QoS, quality of service. And what we look at here is giving one type of traffic an advantage over another type of traffic. Now what would I mean? To give quality of service, you wanna give a certain type of traffic priority. Now let's think about your web browsing. Your web browsing, if you have to wait a little bit longer for your web page to load in, is it going to matter? Probably not. Now, first let's talk about what is a little bit longer. You're talking typically milliseconds, maybe up to a half a second. If you waited for your web page to log in or to load in a half a second longer, you probably wouldn't even notice that. Now, let's take a video call or a voice call that's going over IP, over your network. If there's a half a second pause in that, is that distracting? Ever watch a video and it stops and it has to buffer a little bit more and then it plays and it has to buffer? Kind of annoying. So why not in our network give what we call real-time traffic, that voice and video, real-time traffic, why don't we give it the VIP pass to get to the front of the line to get processed faster? And that's what quality of service does is saying, Let's give certain traffic the ability to get processed before all the other traffic. Real-time real time traffic, voice, video. Let's process that first 
and then the rest of it can go. And so that's what we're looking at is quality of service. If you like this episode on reliable networks and you get value out of it, and depending upon the platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. Doing this supports the channel, which in turn helps me bring you more great content. Subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to be alerted every time I release a new episode. You can also visit my website at kevtechify.com for all of my details on how to get these episodes in video and podcast form. Then we look at network security. One of the big things in today's world is security. There needs to be that done at all different levels, but you as a network administrator, you can add in security where you can. A lot of times all your networking devices should have usernames and passwords. You can allow it to only be logged in from certain IP addresses. So you have to add in all the security at the network level. Plus then once you secure your devices, your devices then can have access. Only allow certain people into your network or only allow certain traffic off of your network. Only allow web queries off of your network, web requests off of your network. If it's an SQL connection, you don't want to let that go off of your network because why should there be a reason to have that SQL traffic go off of your network? So you need to understand what your network is, what you're doing on your network, and then you can build the security around it. And so that's what we're looking at here. Typically, there's two parts of network security. There's a network and there's the information. That's what I talked about. Securing those physical devices, securing what's going on your network. There's three goals of network security. Confidentiality, integrity, and availability. How do you remember that? Well, dealing with security, the CIA. I know that sounds corny, but think about the CIA. Confidentiality. Only intended recipients can read the data. So whoever the data is intended for, they can read it. Nobody else can. So only people in your company can read your data. If somebody from outside your company connects in, they can't read that data. Integrity, make sure the data hasn't changed. I'm going to send you your paycheck. Your, your paycheck is for $1,000. Let's make sure a hacker can't hack into that, change the dollar amount, take a zero off of it, and keep the rest for himself. So instead of you getting that $1,000, you only get $100, he gets to pocket that $900. Make sure that that hasn't changed. Make sure they can't change data inside of something. You have a meeting request sent for Friday at 1 p.m. Let's make sure somebody can't go in and change it to Friday at 10 a.m. Whatever the reasons are. And then availability. Making sure the right people can get to the right data. Making sure that it's the information they're asking for. Making sure that they can check it. The right people. They're authorized to use it. But also in the right time. In today's world, we log and keep so much data. If you send them all the data they're gonna get overwhelmed and not be able to get the right data and not make the good decision. So you have to make sure you give them the right data. And so that's what the right information is. Get it in the right time. Because if they had to go through all the data, it's probably gonna be past that sales point. They're not gonna be able to help the company make more money. You need to make sure they get that information there. So the right information to the right people in the right time. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on Reliable Networks. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and depending upon what platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All of my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com, and you can get all of these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on Introduction to Network. In the bottom right is one of my favorite episodes that I linked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on Introduction to Networks. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.